This is the Apple Image Writer 2 printer. Um, something you guys should watch out for when you're at garage sales and thrift stores or wherever you may be, the auctions. These things weigh a lot and bring decent money. Anywhere from uh, about $60 up US. Um, it was pretty high end back in the day. It retailed for $595 US. Uh, it had three different paper quality settings. I unfortunately won't be able to do much testing with this because I don't have any Apple IIs or old vintage Apple software kicking around to plug this into. 8 pin mini DIN plug to serial port is what you would want. Uh, they do take a normal power bar, or power plug I should say, the same kind you'd find in the back of uh, most of your standard PCs or PC monitors. So I'm going to plug it in and see if I can at least get a test page to print. Alright, as I kind of zoom into this and take a closer look at it, you can see just how dirty and scuffed this thing is. Image Writer 2. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of scuffs, scrape marks, some mild yellowing going across. Some old sticker residue, I'm not sure if they were product stickers or just office stickers. Um, even that kind of clear plastic part's pretty dirty. It is missing a back flap here. I don't know if I can find it. I don't know how much it's going to affect the price. I've yet to look that up. But as this thing's sitting dirty, you can still get $30 for it. I'm going to clean it up though and see exactly how much we could get for it. Hopefully closer to the $60, $75 mark. Uh, you'd get a lot closer to the $100 mark if you had that top flap and could confirm it's in working order. Some things to watch out for though guys when you're looking for this. Uh, this would be one of them right here. This is the belt that drives the ink cart back and forth. A lot of the times they will, this rubber will get very old and brittle and corroded and crack. That could be one of the main reasons it's not working. Um, even if you're not able to test these say electronically still give them a good visual inspection because you know I, I can feel this bend this it's not cracking it's not fraying I don't see any really bad marks in it uh, the guidance string here is still intact for it to move back and forth and it I believe it measures the distance between pages like that the ribbon that delivers the information the ribbon plug looks good there's no bad cracks it seems to be seated in there quite well and there's even a June 2006 date sticker on that ink package uh, it's probably dried out by now but that this thing was used for quite a while if that's 06 on there there is a lot of dust and dirt on the inside I'm not sure what this plugs for if I turn it upside down you can see some of the more dirt and scuffs a little bit of the original color it was supposed to be there is the 8 pinned in mini plug for those of you who care to see it And there is your standard power cord on the back. And just in case you guys want to see the product sticker label for any reason, research purposes, I guess. There it is, the Image Writer 2. Model number... Model number A9M0320, if you can't make that out. There was a model before it was called an Image Writer 2. Uh, it's compatible and basically the same as the, this one. Same with the Image Writer 1. There's not a lot of difference in how they look, I guess. There's a few parts that are not interchangeable. But the best way to tell if you have a first edition Image Writer 2, it actually won't say Image Writer 2 there. It'll just have a serial number on the back. Image Writer 1 obviously just says Image Writer. And uh, yeah, that's that's how you tell. Uh, Image Writer 1s, I believe, are actually worth a little bit more. And here is your vast amount of buttons with off, on, select, print quality, line feed, form feed, and obviously a couple of lights. So before I get to really cleaning this thing up, I guess uh, I should plug it in and see if it even makes any noise or lights up. All right. I got my power cord, had to steal it from the office printer because I am not sure where my power cords are. A lot of stuff has been moved around and kind of gotten lost or packed up it, uh, for that house move we did. So yeah, stuck with stealing one of these right now. But that's all right, it'll still work. Put that into the back. I'm going to hope it plays with the lid off so that I can see what it's doing mechanically inside. 
Now, this would be considered a dot matrix printer, and I believe because it's a dot matrix printer, the paper it would have used back in the day would have been fed in uh, through a spool, which would be up here. It would, would have been the paper that have those little tiny holes that run all the way down the side of it, and you used to have to rip off the side pieces and tear the paper at the perforated edges. I don't know, anyone born before probably 1999 remembers that. Uh, so here comes the moment of truth. Let's hit that power button. Ooh, look at that. From 1985. So, you know, over, over 30 years old. And uh, hit that power button and she's still fired up. Yep, print quality changes between the three lights. When I'm clicking it, you can probably see that in the corner. Select changes, line feed, form feed. Turns off. Turns back on. So I know the motor works. I know the motor up here that drops the ink up and down works. Um, because of all these moving parts, you know, you'd probably save to assume this is a working condition printer minus i don't know if the ink's dried up so when i go to list it you know i'm not going to lie i'm going to basically list it as appears to be in working condition i don't have a apple computer to test a print paper but the device turns on moves and functions as it should all the lights seem to work and respond when pushing the corresponding buttons you know it'll say something like that uh ink is labeled june 2006 it may or may not work anymore you know please review photos for a better idea on the cosmetic condition of the item um i and I, i'll probably make a very quick youtube video for my listing just of me basically hitting the off and turning it on a few times just so people can kind of see it moving and see exactly how it functions i wonder if it gets an error not having the lid on we're gonna find out no oh yeah even when I turn it off and on, guys, I can even feel this side piece moving. That's your paper feed. So, I mean, mechanically, all the motors function as they should. So, other than it being disgustingly dirty, I would assume it is in working condition. So, there you go, guys. Just something uh, when you're out and about to watch for.